let's write formulas for these two compounds. They're very similar, but they have an important difference. First of all, if we look on the periodic table, we can tell that sodium over here is a metal. And so we know that if the first element is a metal, it will end up being an ionic compound. We'll know that it's a metal and a nonmetal. Now let's look at the second part of these. One is um, sulfide. When it has the ide ending, it's just the element. And sulfur is in the minus two column on the periodic table. So it's just going to be a sodium sulfide like this. Sodium is in that plus one column. Okay, so sulfide is just the element. On this one, we have sodium sulfate. If the last name ends in eight or ite, that's a little reminder that it's a polyatomic ion and not just the element S. So we'll think back to our polyatomic ions and uh, sulfate is SO4 with a minus two charge. So SO4 with minus two. Okay, so we've done the first step for both of these. We've written down the ions in order um, with their charges, but we need to do our crossing down. So on this one, the two crosses down here, the one there. Remember, we don't do anything with those charges. We just bring down the numbers. This does not reduce. This is Na2S. On this one, with the polyatomic ion, you're going to put parentheses around your polyatomic ion. Again, that sodium was plus one. When we cross down the charges, we want to bring the number out here that we cross down. This two goes there. Look at the numbers that we crossed down, two to one. That does not reduce. We never try to reduce this number in here. That four is part of the sulfate. That's one reason I put parentheses around it, just as a reminder that you do not mess with what's inside there. Don't change the four on the sulfate. Um, okay, so this does not reduce. I can clean it up, though. I don't need to show the one. And do I need to keep the parentheses? If this number outside the parentheses is a one, then you don't need the parentheses. Very good. So that's the difference between sodium sulfide and sodium sulfate.